You can't watch professional sports these days without a political discussion breaking out. Many Americans are just plain sick of it. They want to watch football. A man who knows a thing or two about the game is Daryl Green. He played 20 years in the NFL with the Washington Redskins and has a dozen NFL records to his credit. He was also instrumental in getting his former team to change its name, and he joins us now. Daryl, thank you very much for being here. Glad to be here. Good it's morning. like Good afternoon. It, it's like Sports Legends Day here on America right now. We had Lou Holtz on uh, last hour, and we've got you um, this week. <laughs> former Green Bay Packers quarterback uh, Brett Favre said uh, that fans don't want politics on the football field. Uh, you know, let me ask you: Should ath athletes, when they're in the stadium, when they're on the field, should they play sports, and should they not double as political activists? Uh, well, when you're on the field, you're playing sports. You know, they're not playing sports when the ball is snapped. But, no, I think that in America, everybody has a voice, no matter what your job is. You should have a voice. I mean, that's what America, that's all, that is America. Baseball, apple pie, and having a voice, you know, the Constitution provides for that. But, you know, when they're playing football, they are playing football. But when they're not playing, then they should have a voice. That's, that's common sense. But they're taking it into the stadium and it, it, it is sort of bleeding over onto the field. Do you think that some that Americans, many Americans, in fact, are um, they're frustrated? They're, they deserve to be frustrated by that, by political statements uh, in sports. That's if I said, do I think I should? America is never going to be all on the same page. I mean, when we were, you know, sitting in on encounters, you know, uh, fighting for civil rights. That was some people that didn't like it. There was some people that did. Mm -hmm. If you're fighting to make America better, then <laughs> that's just a part of it. It's like football. You get hurt. Sometimes fights break out because that's a part of that environment. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this, this this whole conversation about trying to make it, oh, let's just all be not. That's not that's not what it's all about. It's about people having the ability to communicate. Now, I would say this, do it in a civil way. You know, love people and be concerned and concerned for you know, people's feelings and people's opinions, that's where I think our, our country is, has a problem. We're either A or B, red or blue, and that's our problem. When right. you, can't, you can't relate with people. Uh, I, I had, you know, my neighbors are Caucasian, and I've had arguments with them, but we're friends. Right. Well, we need to be we need to be able to 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 have disagreements and get along. I yes. want uh, Daryl. We've been talking a lot about covid protocols and the NFL is also struggling uh, with those. Yesterday, the league said that teams could no longer ho hold in-person meetings after game day. Several teams have suffered outbreaks with so many team meetings needed in football. Um, is it possible for them to, to play? Is it possible for them to, to prevent the spread of covid? In this environment. Well, obviously, obviously, you know, I'm a part of Holodyne. That's a product that you can you can sanitize your nostrils with. They could use that. I mean, doctors are using it. It's it's just a simple product that when that spore, uh, that, that 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 particle gets in your nostrils or in your mouth, it just it sanitizes like your hands. It's an added layer of protection, and they don't have any protection with it because they can't do those protocols in football. But I mean, yeah, it's the fatigue of football, the injuries, and this long, it's a long season, and it's gonna, it was always going to be hard to maintain it because they're human beings, and I respect that. I hope they check out Holodyne, H-A-L-O-D-I-N.com, and, and that, that does give you an added layer of protection. It does kill the virus that creates, that causes the COVID-19 uh, 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 virus in the body. Holodyne, they can check that out, but... This is what we're dealing with, guys. We, right. Nobody is perfect. Nobody knows everything. Well, a absolutely. And uh, and looking at preventative treatments is something that we, we certainly need to do more of. Daryl, you know, you've been recruited to run for U.S. Senate at one point. Uh, there a chance you might enter public service yourself? <laughs> no. No, I'm, I'm in public service, but it's in the nonprofit world, trying to make life better for seniors, adults, kids, mamas, daddies. I rather I decided years ago after they offered me to run for mayor of D.C. three times and our local Senate, I just decided years ago I, I would take a different route at it, but I respect I respect the people that does do that. Uh, I would tell you, I know you got to go, but I had a thought the other day uh, that if, if everybody could just, like, volunteer and serve the country, 
That would be awesome. Yeah. We just volunteer. If the senators were volunteers and the congressmen are volunteers, that would be pretty awesome. It would be like uh, some people come out of college and then they go and volunteer for a certain organization for two or three years. And then so you wouldn't have no dog in the fight. All you, only dog in the fight would just be, I love America and I want to help, help Americans, not how much I can get paid. And people would be more connected to each other and to their families as well. Daryl Green, we hope to have you back. Thanks so much for being please, here. Please, please. I'd love to be back. Have a blessed one. Thank you. You too. We'll